joined here by Joshua Jat Leesman, and we're coming to you live from the Riot Studios in Santa Monica. Today, we'll find out who will take on whom at the play-in of MSI in Sao Paulo, Brazil. And joining us today to help with the draw, we have former IWC champion and world's attendee, Danigorn. And with him, one of the most prolific mid laners from Brazil and also a former IWC champion and world's attendee, Tinones. Now, there have been a number of changes to the MSI format this year. The introduction of the all-new play-in sees 13 teams compete for the very first time at MSI. So here's a quick rundown of some of the changes. Hey guys, it's Zale here with your guide to the 2017 Mid-Season Invitation. For the very first time, 13 teams will compete in up to three different stages of MSI. The play-in, group stage, and knockout stage. First up is the all-new play-in, which will take place in Sao Paulo from April 28th to May 6th. Eight of the 13 teams chosen based on their historic performance and competitive strength will be drawn from two pools into two groups. More information for how we decided on seating for MSI is available at lolesports.com, but for now, let's get into the pools. Pool one is Brazil, the CIS or Commonwealth of Independent States, Southeast Asia and Turkey. Pool two is Japan, LATAM North, LATAM South and Oceania. These teams will compete in a best of one double round robin with the winners of each group then taking on representatives from either North America or the LMS. The winner of these matches will automatically progress to the group stage while the losers play off to see who will earn the final spot. The group stage kicks off on the 10th of May in Rio de Janeiro where these three teams will be joined by representatives from Europe, China, and Korea. And we'll find out who will be crowned the champion of the 2017 Mid-Season Invitational. Now let's send it back to the casters to find out your groups for the 2017 Mid-Season Invitational play. Now today we'll be drawing the eight first round play-in teams into two groups, Group A and Group B. The teams have been divided into two pools represented by the bowls that you see on screen now. Each bowl contains four capsules with region names and logos inside. And as the video mentioned, teams have been split into these two pools based on the historic performance of their region. So today we'll be starting by drawing two teams from Pool 1, then two teams from Pool 2, and continue this methodology until all the teams have been placed into either Group A or Group B. All right, so now that we're ready and our guests are ready, let's go ahead and kick off the MSI play and draw. Danagorn, if you could please draw the first team from Pool 1. Danagorn has drawn Brazil, which means the Red Cannons from the CB Law will be our first team into Group A. Red Cannons were a second tier team that built a solid seven man roster with the goal of overcoming every other team in Brazil. They swept Cade Stars in the CB Lowell Finals 3 0 and now get a chance to play at MSI in front of one of the most passionate home crowds in League Esports. If they can match their fans' passion on the stage, expect a powerhouse performance. Now, if you could please draw the next team, which will be placed into Group B. The CIS has been our second team drawn, which means Virtus Pro from the LCL will be our first team from Group B. Two hard-fought five-game series crowned Virtus Pro champions of the LCL, including a shocking upset victory against the regional favorites M19, formerly Albus Knox Luna. With big shoes to fill, Virtus Pro will be looking to continue their region's international success and show that the LCL deserves recognition as an international contender. At this point, we'll be moving on to Pool 2. So, Tinones, if you could please draw the first team, which will be heading for Group A. And Tinones has drawn OCE, which means that the Dire Wolves, representing the OPL, will be our second team in Group A. Dire Wolves have always looked strong, but a new level of macro play and discipline has elevated the team to OPL champions this split. An unbeaten second half of the season propelled them to the top of the standings, and a dominant performance in the finals netted them their spot at MSI with a 3-1 victory. Now the next team drawn will fall into Group B. Latin America North, meaning that Lion Gaming representing the LLN will be our second team in Group B. 
Lion Gaming rises to the international stage with a sweep of the LLN finals, winning their eighth Latin America North championship. With bitter memories of coming ever so close to qualifying for Worlds 2016, Lion Gaming will be focused on the task at hand to dominate the play-in and qualify for groups at the Mid-Season Invitational. We're halfway there, so now we'll return to finish off Pool 1. Danagorn, if you could please do the honors. And a reminder that Southeast Asia and Turkey are the two teams remaining in Pool 1. Okay, so Danagorn has drawn Turkey. Now, Turkey is yet to name their representative. They will be playing the TCL Finals on April 22nd. That will be between Supermassive and Crew Esports Club. So if you want to see it, check it out then. And that team will be qualifying into Group A. We wait on bated breath for that one. If you could please go ahead and draw the final team from Pool 1, which will be heading for Group B. No surprises here. Southeast Asia has been drawn, which means Gigabyte Marines from the GPL will be into Group B. Hailing from Vietnam, Gigabyte Marines were undefeated in their run to the Midseason Invitational. Between the Vietnam Championship and the Garena Premier League, the Marines didn't drop a single series. They'll be striving to continue that momentum as they look to leave a mark on MSI as Southeast Asia's representative. Now, Tenones, will you draw the last two teams from Pool 2, starting with Group A? As a reminder here, Japan and Latin America South are the two remaining regions. And first up, we have Japan, meaning Rampage, representing the LJL, will be our final team in Group A. Rampage finished second at the end of the regular season of Japan's LJL, but swept their rivals, Detonation Focus Me, in an overwhelming 3-0 victory to earn their place at the Midseason Invitational. And they did it all with three new members added to their starting lineup. Rampage will now have to prove themselves worthy at an international level if they want to bring home the MSI trophy. And our last Pool 2 team will be our final team draw. And no surprises here, Latin America South, meaning Azurus Gaming representing the CLS is the final team in Group B. Isaurus Gaming were favorites coming into the CLS split, and they lived up to their expectations, sweeping the finals 3-0. They're the oldest and most well-known organization in the region, and while they haven't always been the best, they're certainly the best at learning from their mistakes. Their stellar coaching staff, incredible macro game, and fighting spirit will make them a formidable opponent at the play-in. Nice and speedy. So with all the teams now drawn, that locks both Group A and Group B for the 2017 Mid-Season Invitational play-in. So just a recap of the groups. In Group A, we have the Red Canids from Brazil, Dire Wolves from Oceania, the Representative from Turkey, and Rampage from Japan. And over in Group B, it is Virtus Pro from the CIS, Lion Gaming from LATAM North, Gigabyte Marines from Southeast Asia, and Azurus Gaming from LATAM South. Now you can catch all these teams in action as they battle for their region's pride when the MSI play-on kicks off on April 28th at 11 a.m. Pacific time as Brazil's Red Cannons take on Oceania's Dire Wolves. We'll be bringing you all the action from the CBLOL studios in Sao Paulo, Brazil. Yeah, and also a reminder, until then, make sure you're using the hashtag MSI2017 if you want to talk about the draw or the event. And if you're looking to catch the action live and up close, the tickets are actually still available at lolesports.com slash tickets. Easy to find. That brings us to the conclusion of our 2017 Mid-Season Invitational Play and Draw Show. A big thank you to Danagorn and to Nones for your help today. Now, on behalf of myself and the entire live broadcast crew, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in Sao Paulo.